The Human Rights and International Humanitarian Law Secretariat, also known as the Secretariat, is a partnership between the governments of Sweden, Switzerland, Denmark, and the Netherlands. The Secretariat was established to jointly fund Israeli and Palestinian NGOs that claim to promote human rights and humanitarian law. Between 2013 and 2017, the Secretariat's budget was $17.6 million. So what happened with all this money? Despite its lofty name, most Secretariat money is distributed to highly politicized NGOs that are involved in various anti-Israel activities, including whitewashing violence and terrorism, and promoting anti-Semitic propaganda. Some of these groups even have alleged ties to terrorist organizations. For example, during the time it received Secretariat funding, the Women's Center for Legal Aid and Counseling employed Manal Tamimi, who the NGO described as a human rights defender. Tamimi utilized anti-Semitic and violent rhetoric and imagery on social media, often inciting violence against Jews. Another Secretariat grantee, Badil, promoted anti-Semitic imagery on its website. These two NGOs received over $1 million from the Secretariat between 2014 and 2016. Adamir is an official PFLP affiliate, and several of the NGO's employees were convicted of terrorism charges by Israeli courts. Khalida Jarar, Adamir's vice chairperson, is a senior PFLP official. In 2014, Jarar was indicted for various offenses, including active membership in a terrorist organization and inciting violence through a call to kidnap Israeli soldiers. Adamir received $325,000 from the Secretariat between 2014 and 2016. In May 2017, the Women's Affairs Technical Committee helped inaugurate a youth center near Nablus named after Dalal Mugrabi, a terrorist who in 1978 murdered 38 civilians, including 13 children, in the Coastal Road Massacre. The Women's Affairs Technical Committee received $530,000 in core funding from the Secretariat between 2014 and 2016. When will European governments realize that their framework for international human rights and humanitarian law is funding anti-Semitism, incitement, and convicted terrorists? To learn more, read NGO Monitor's new report on the Secretariat. Visit www.ngo-monitor.org.